Well, what a show it was tonight here at AT&T Stadium. We were treated to a huge performance. Twelve fantastic rounds of boxing between Errol Spence Jr. against Mikey Garcia. And I'm joined by the IBF welterweight champion of the world, Errol Spence Jr. Congratulations, first of all. Fantastic performance. You've long been talked about as, as the boogeyman of this division. You, you felt like a fighter that was on the verge of greatness coming into this. You needed a great fight to put you right there. How do you reflect on this performance? Uh, I feel like it was a great performance on my I basically showed my boxing IQ. I showed my skills and my talent, just showed my ability. Throughout the whole training camp and when this fight was made, people were saying that, you know, he had faster feet than me, he was smarter than me, um, he was a better fundamental fighter than me. So I just wanted to prove that I have, you know, a different arsenal. Uh, that's right. Coming into this fight, a lot of people talked about it being lose-lose for you. Yeah. You just outbox one of the greatest boxers in the game. Do you feel like coming out tonight is win-win? Oh, uh, definitely. I feel like, you know, a lot of people thought I was just going to bulldoze them, just run them over with just pure, you know, brute strength. But I just showed a different type of boxing IQ that a lot of people haven't seen from me. Was what we saw in the ring your strategy coming into this? How much credit would you like to give your team, Derek James, who's with you here? Oh, uh, definitely. Derek, the one that did a lot of film, and, um, you know, he basically told me, you know, a, a simple setback with a jab would offset a lot of his rhythm that he does, and it would offset his rhythm and make him start all over. So, you know, I credit my coach and just my whole team from, you know, doing game film and just breaking down and, showing me different things so I can add it to my game and, you know, get this victory. I imagine a super fight like this has whet your appetite for another big fight. You obviously called out Manny Pacquiao. Do you think a performance like the one you gave in the ring will scare Manny Pacquiao away? He didn't seem definite about the fact that he wanted to take on your challenge. Well, he never seemed definite, but a guy like Manny Pacquiao, you know, he's he's all blood and guts. You know, he's a real fighter. And um, I doubt if he's scared of anybody in, you know, any division, you know, as, as proven as, you know, he's fought anybody that's been in his way. So, you know, I think he'll take the challenge. You know, it's a big money fight. You know, he's on his way out. So he's a future Hall of Famer, too. So why not fight? Can you be the man to retire him? Oh, definitely. I can't give him that retirement check. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, Sean Porter, my friend, has been on this Fox broadcast with us. You've not shown him a lot of love tonight. <laughs> he's listening in, though. Is there anything you'd like to say to him directly? Because he can hear you. <laughs> um, I like to tell Sean Porter that um, if the Manny Pacquiao fight don't happen, I'll definitely, you know, take that fight with Sean Porter. You know I've been wanting that fight. When he fought, um, when he fought Danny Garcia and he beat Danny Garcia, I got in the ring and told him, let's make this fight happen. He said it's easy to make happen, but, you know, it didn't happen. So that's the whole reason I fought Mikey Garcia. So, you know, if you want to fight, we can definitely make that happen if the Pacquiao fight don't happen. But I definitely, definitely will fight Sean Porter and take that WC belt from him. And Errol, I'm up top. I showed you respect tonight. All the respect to you, what you did tonight. You did a fantastic job. You dominated. Much respect to you. Congratulations to you, your team, your family. And listen, if Manny Pacquiao is dragging his feet, <laughs> you ain't got to look left. You ain't got to look right. We're both ready for this. This is a coll collision course that's been waiting to happen. You just let me know when, baby. Let me know when. Definitely. That is a super fight, so... You know, I definitely take that fight. It's a super fight. It's what the fans want. He's a real fighter. I'm action packed. He action packed. And if we both clash, clash is you know it's going to be a extremely crowd pleasing fight. Dallas or Cleveland? Where would it happen? Oh, Cleveland. We gotta bring it back to Dallas. <laughs> hey, American I, team. No, hey, I got no no problems with that, man. Jerry Jones has showed me some love, and I, I know your crowd has showed you some love, man. Hey, man, congratulations. Thank and you. And I look forward to seeing you soon, man. Thank you. I mean that. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, we all echo that. You really did. You touched greatness tonight. Uh, camp is hard, man. Is there anything you're really looking forward to right now? Um, getting a burger. Yeah? I'm looking for getting a double burger. Like, I'm I'm fiending for some grease. Like, even after my, after my uh, weigh-ins, like, I ate healthy throughout sweet potatoes mm -hmm. and fish, things like that. So I haven't had anything greasy fries or anything that's going to go through the a brown paper bag in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> go for it, man. Indulge yourself. You've deserved it. Listen, you touched greatness tonight. It was an absolutely fantastic performance. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate you. your time. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.